Okay. Um, so, oh, practice today. I've got a block and a strap. So, if you have anything like these that you can have around, of course, all of the usual adjustments and modifications uh, to making those kinds of things happen for you. Um, we're going to work just kind of all through the body today. I wanted to. Um, really just wanted to get at kind of every angle and keep things a little bit chill because I know especially you know with the weather the way that it is things start to get very um it's like the body feels damp and tired when the weather outside is damp and tired looking so just kind of being here and being present and not like going really wild with practice I was going through the yoga sutras I keep derailing and then going back to them and kind of going down the list of the first several and it's really the first four that have um, the most depth in describing the practice and the pathway and we have you know the practice of yoga starts now and then you know yoga is the ceasing of the stirring of the mind and then we move on to so the fourth yoga sutra essentially translates that you are constantly trying to identify yourself with the world. And I've also, I've looked more into this, this, you can even say you're trying to identify yourself and how you relate to the world as if the world is separate from you. And that is why you are suffering. When we are trying to identify and label ourselves versus anything else that we are then telling ourselves a falsehood that we are not the same as that thing that is why we're suffering i hope i'm like making sense with that um we have the practice of yoga and the word yoga is to yoke and to connect and to honor and see that connection when we have the division that's the problem. So whenever we come back to this place where I am here and I am connected to all things and also I am as a complete sentence without trying to fill in a blank that doesn't exist, that's when we can move beyond suffering and that's the effort. It's so much effort sometimes. Um, but just trying to really be here and to be present and to get into our breath and our bodies in this time is uh, where the benefit is to us. So we'll start with face brushing, index finger and the thumb together, going open across the forehead. And then from the sides of the nose out to the temples. Tracing down on the jawline. And down the left lines from the nose down to the chin. And then moving your fingertip underneath and behind your ears, giving yourself a little massage. And then lifting upwards from that bony spot right behind your ears. And then a little bit more space come. Taking another big breath in, feeling yourself get a tiny bit taller as you exhale, stay tall, drop your hands down in your lap. As you start to connect with your breath, creating a flow and a rhythm to your breath that you will return to throughout practice. Perhaps you say a little mantra to yourself just a few times. I am, I am. And letting that be a completed sentence. There isn't a blank to fill in. Just another in these continuous efforts of connection, of union. Next time you take a breath in, 
Bring it in nice and full through your nose. And big exhale through the mouth. Again, like that. For three ohms. Ah. Blink your eyes open, bring the soles of your feet together, your knees out wide, and then start taking some rocking and stirring around, or just kind of move your torso around in a circle. I'm gonna let somebody in. Oh no, never mind. My computer is just making things up. It's fine. <laughs> okay. It's telling me I need to adjust my audio. You guys hear me okay? And then go ahead and circle around. I don't think it's actually telling me that the audio is bad. I think it's just telling me that it wants me to stop what I'm doing and mess with it. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll just keep shifting from side to side in your hips, moving around, just kind of loosening up the pelvis. And when you feel like you've probably done an even amount of rocking around on each side, then start to come back to the center. If you're seated up on anything, go ahead and move it off to your side. And then we're going to close the knees in towards each other. Bring your fingertips back with your elbows pulled back and then lift your chest up. We're starting to stretch out through the front of the chest and the shoulders. Maybe wiggle your shoulders out a little bit. Take another big breath in. And then exhale, soften. We're going to bring the soles of the feet back together and the knees open and then come forward into a fold. Knowing that we're still early in the practice, it might not be a super deep fold yet, but focus on relaxing your lower back as you draw the body forward. Big breath in. Big breath out. Start to lift yourself up. You're going to take the right leg out to the right and then leave the left leg in somewhere that's comfortable. You might tuck it in more. You might leave it a little bit uh, further open. Lift your right toes. Walk your right fingertips over towards them. And then take your left arm open. Turn the palm to face back and try to use your shoulder to press that hand back. Nice big stretch here. Probably starting to feel some stretch here. One more exhale. And then reach your arm up and over your nose. Now getting much more side stretch. Try to lengthen the backs of your ears away from your shoulders. There's a tendency sometimes to shorten the back of the neck and these side bends. Big breath in. Big breath out. And lift yourself up. We're going to come into stargazer. And of course, you could stay down and just lift the hip up a little bit and reach your arm instead of coming up as we will onto the shin. So now your hips lift up and you press down into your supporting limbs and reach up through your heart. Take a big inhale and then softly return down onto the floor. And then we'll switch the legs that the left leg is, or the right leg is in, and the left leg is out, lift your toes. We're going to reach the left fingertips out, taking the right arm up in the air, turn the palm so it faces back behind you, and then right from the shoulder, you're going to move the palm back. It's a little bit of open rotation here. Big breath in. One more exhale. 
We're moving the arm up and over your nose. A little more of that side stretch. Lengthening the back of your neck. One more big breath in, big breath out. Start to lift yourself up. We're gonna take the, um, I'm gonna take your arm up and you'll either stay here so you can still get a good stretch into your chest or moving up onto your shin in the stargazer, lifting your heart up, reaching out into space. Take another inhale. And then exhale, soften back down. We'll bring the legs back in. And then you're gonna come down onto your back. And when you get onto your back, bring your strap with you. I'm trying to not have that. <laughs> you come on down, go ahead and bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock around. Massaging your lower back. And then set your left foot down and loop the strap around the bottom of your right foot. And from here, wrap the ends of the strap around your fingers and we wanna to work towards a straight leg. So as straight as possible, even if the leg moves away from your torso quite a bit, you wanna feel that little bit of, um, there's a little bit of tension, it's a little bit of heat that goes into the, the muscles that are right up above the knee here. Pressing the foot into the strap or the scarf, whatever you happen to be using. One more round of breath. And then relax the strap. You're gonna send both, end, or relax the leg. You're gonna send both ends of the strap into your right hand. And then you'll start to pull that right knee down towards your right armpit. As my hips do kind of tilt a little bit more here. The elbow flares out to the side. Try to relax your right shoulder instead of getting tense in the front of that right shoulder. One more breath out. And then you're going to loosen the grip on your strap. Go ahead and switch the strap to the other hand. You might take your left leg and extend it out a little bit longer. We're gonna turn the leg out towards the right, so the knee and the toe will face outwards, and then a little bit of a crossing of the body so that you get that stretch on the outer line of your leg. And if you're not feeling a lot, try to bring the strap further away. Sometimes that helps. Just gives us a little bit more space to release this outer leg line. One more exhale. And then you're gonna bend the knee. You can just let go of the strap. We're gonna take it all the way across into a twist. The right knee goes over to the right, or the right knee goes over to the left. The right arm opens, the belly softens. Relax your right shoulder. One more full round of breath. Stay here and exhale. And then you're gonna take your body all the way over onto the right. And then you can either grab your foot with your hand or you can find your strap. I'm gonna set yourself up here. And then you're gonna stretch out that right thigh, tucking the foot up towards your hip. You might straighten the bottom leg, just knowing that it's gonna impact your balance, but you do wanna reach the right knee down towards the left foot. Let's see if you can relax that right shoulder. Big breath in, big breath out. Release the strap, I'm gonna come onto your back. You might have to untangle yourself a little bit. And then once you're untangled, taking the strap and looping it around the bottom of your left foot. Wrapping the strap around in your hands and then pushing the, the foot into the strap, straightening the leg. 
take little breaks if it becomes too intense. Really want to get as straight through the leg as possible. Take another full breath in. Big exhale. And then you're going to start to relax the leg, take both ends of the strap into your left hand, and then you're going to bend the knee, pulling it down towards your armpit. Try to flare that left elbow out to the left, soften the inside of this left shoulder. So the knee is not going to actually get into the armpit, that's fine, it's just the direction it's moving in. Take breath in. And breath out. When I'm releasing that, that um, strap, you're going to take it into your other hand. So bring it into the right hand. You might even have to use like both hands here. I did on the other side for a bit. You could extend the right leg further out, but then turn your left knee and toe out to the left and move your heel first over towards the right. And it's still way up high in the air because it's not much of a cross. We're starting off with the outer thigh stretch, and then we'll twist deeper. Take breath in. Take breath out. And we're gonna bend into the knee. You can let the strap go and roll over into a twist, taking your left arm open, softening your belly. Relaxing with each exhale. One more round of breath. And then coming all the way over onto your right side, you're gonna tuck that left leg back behind you. You could use your strap or hold your foot depending on how uh, easy either of those options are. Just pick whichever one you like. And then you'll pull the foot in towards your bum and relax that top shoulder back, lengthening your left knee down towards your right foot. Big breath in. Big breath out. And slowly release that leg. I'm going to take the strap, go ahead and set it off to the side. And then bring your knees into your chest, give yourself another hug, rock around a little bit, softening through the lower back. Uh, roll over onto our belly, and you're going to find your strap. You're going to take the strap back behind you and lay it back across your tush. And you want to hold the strap a little bit wider than your hip, so just a little bit uh, wider than that space. And then with the strap, with the palms facing up, reach the strap back, bend your elbows a little bit, and then turn the elbows up so the palms face towards each other. Keep the elbows bent. As you straighten the arms and reach the strap back, take your chest up. It's optional to lift the legs up as well. You can skip that part, but keep reaching the strap back, taking your heart up a little bit more. One more big breath in, and then exhale, soften down. We do that one more time. If you really, really don't like the strap, if you don't feel like it's helpful, you don't have to use it, but maybe uh, try it again just to see how it changes the second round. You're gonna bend the elbows. Turn the elbows up, and then as you straighten the leg, lift your or straighten the arms, lift your heart. Reach the strap back. 
One more breath in. And then exhale, softening down. Release your strap and set it off to your side. Bring your hands in underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna lift your belly up, lift your hips up, and then push the floor away. Come up onto your hands and knees. And start to settle back into child's pose. Knees a little wider, toes towards each other, hips drop back. If you can't quite get your head down onto the floor, go ahead and grab that block or whatever you might be using and set it out underneath your forehead so that your head isn't hanging out in space. Maybe you wiggle your hips a little bit side to side, just finding some softness. And lifting your head up, look forward, we're gonna pull up into table pose, maybe bringing your knees in a little bit more. You could be on fingertips, if you need to not be on your wrists for a bit. We'll work through cat and cow, inhale, drop the belly and look up, exhale, round the spine. Just moving with your breath a few rounds. Finish up this round that you're on, get through the exhale and then come back towards a more neutral spine. Walk your hands, a hand crimp forward, lean your heart forward and draw your belly and try to slowly lower down onto your belly, but you could go a little faster if that's what you need. And once you get down there, wiggle your legs back a little bit, snuggle your elbows back and then lift your heart up and forward into cobra pose. Try to reach your elbows back just as much as you were when we were holding onto the strap before. Take another breath in and exhale, lower down. You're gonna feel your belly lift up, maybe your hips lift up, push yourself up away from the floor and then back into child's pose. Maybe wiggling your knees out a little bit wider. This time, come on to fingertips. Try to wiggle your fingertips as far forward as you can Bring them a little bit wider if it's not so comfortable, and of course not so far out if it's not reasonably comfortable, and still try to relax your head down. Feeling your arms reaching forward and your hips reaching back. One more round of breath. Soften your hips as you exhale. And then start to lift yourself back up. Then walk your hands about a hand prick further forward. Lean your heart forward, draw your belly and lower down just as slow as you can onto your belly. Wiggling your legs back if you've got the space and then coming up into cobra pose. Broaden those collarbones. Take one more breath in. Exhale, soften down. And then we're gonna push ourselves back up onto our hands and knees again, lift the belly, maybe the hips, push the floor away. And then I'm gonna bring your right foot forward. I'm gonna face you, not marrying you. Just heat your hands up onto your front thigh. So take a moment to be sure that you're a little bit in front of your hips. And then you're gonna take your left elbow and bring it down to your right knee. You can leave the right hand down or put the right hand in the left hand, just knowing that that's gonna be a little bit more challenging for your balance. I want you to push down in this elbow and twist your heart over towards the right. You're gonna pull your right thigh bone back, soften your belly. Big breath in, big breath out. Unhook your elbow, come back to the middle. Just bring your hands to your hips, draw your elbows back and reach your heart forward. One more inhale. And exhale, we'll soften, come on down, slide your right leg back and then you'll bring your left foot forward. 
Uh, as you come up here, your hips are just in front of your back knee. So it'll be your right elbow that'll come down. And especially if you do take the other hand up, you gotta watch that the hip isn't drifting out to the side. You wanna pull it back. You can have the hands together or the hand at your thigh, but it's this bottom elbow. You're pushing down in it to lift your heart up. Keep softening your belly. One more breath in. Big breath out. And then lift up. And take your elbow off the knee. Bring your hands to your hips. Draw the elbows back. Lift your heart up and forward. Take another inhale. And exhale. Relax. We'll take the hands down. I'm going to slide the left leg back. We're gonna come into downward dog, spread the fingertips out first, push down into the palms that the back of your heart lifts up, and then curl your toes under, lift up into downward facing dog, feel your hips floating higher, your head and your heels relax down towards the floor. One more breath in, give a big loud sigh, and start to work your feet up towards your hands and your hands towards your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need. You might even grab that block for underneath your hands or move your hands to your shins. Try to let your head hang down and your lower back soften. Big inhale. Big exhale. And then start to lift yourself up. Take your time coming up to standing. I'm gonna come into warrior one, taking the right foot forward and the left foot back, find some space. And start with just your hands at your hips. Try to relax that right hip back and the left hip forward. Maybe you slightly lean the heart forward to do so. You feel pretty good in the hips, then lifting your arms up. Your spine in a little bit longer, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, release the hands back. You can interlace your fingertips behind you or hold on to your hips, but straighten your front leg and then start to take your heart forward, continuing to relax the right hip back, trying to square the hips forward. One more exhale. Draw your belly in, stand yourself up. We're gonna release the hands and then switch sides so you'll take your left foot forward and bring the right foot back. Just starting off with your hands at your hips. So try to really set up that pelvic alignment, relaxing the left hip back, trying to bring that right hip forward. A little lean forward will often give a little bit more space around that lower back. And stay here with hands at your hips or if you feel steady reaching your arms up. Lifting your heart up. Big inhale. And exhale, releasing the arms down and back. Interlace the fingers or hold on to your hips. Straighten the front leg. Keep guiding the left hip back, the right hip forward, and then send the heart forward. A big hamstring stretch. A chest stretch too. Leading with the heart. One more breath out. Draw your belly in, come to stand up, release your arms, and then step up towards the front of your mat. And when you get to the front of your mat space, bring your feet together so you have um, the inner line, leg lines touching, and then you wanna squeeze the inner leg lines so your hips go slightly forward. You're gonna feel the fronts of your hips lifting up towards your ribs, reach the arms up, make steeple fingers go up and over in a side bend towards the right side and push down a little bit more into your left foot. Take a big breath in. Stay there as you exhale. And then lifting up to the center, we'll take that side bend up and over towards the right. Reach out a little bit more, breathe in. I'm sorry, the left. Exhale, stay there. And then come up and release your arms down. Separate your feet a little bit. The side bends should help us to feel a little bit taller. Notice that palms face forward. See so if you can close your eyes if that's comfortable to you and just feel yourself stacked up in mountain pose. Your hips 
above your feet, your ribs above your hips. Try to make sure that you're not losing any of that stacking by letting the heart drift forward or leaning into the back space. As we go into our standing balance, the tendency will be to lean into the back space. Oftentimes it starts to look like this, the stancing Shiva. And you wanna to try to find the same kind of stacking in the body that you would in mountain pose. So we'll start, the, um, start with our standing series, go ahead, or balancing series. Go ahead and come closer to a wall if you can or have something to hold on to. You're gonna take a leg, lift it up. You can be on your toes, just kind of tapping them for balance if that's easier. If you can hold on to the leg with the opposite hand, and then you're gonna open up into a twist, getting right up on top of your foot and your hip so that you have a little bit more balance, and then you're gonna soften the belly into your exhale. Get a little bit more twist, maybe. Big breath in, big breath out. Out of the twist, set your foot down, wiggle things out a little bit, and then coming into the twist, on the other side. So as you lift up this leg, you want to lift that inner leg leg. Feel yourself getting nice and tall. Hold the leg. You can have the toes down on the ground as well. We'll open the opposite arm. Soften the belly and twist. Really try to get stuck. Get up on top of your foot. Lift the backs of your ears. That'll also help. One more exhale if you're still in it. And then set your foot down. We'll wiggle things out a little bit. And then come into triangle pose, grab your block. You're gonna start using that here. So you'll take your legs out really wide, turn the toes over towards the right, the left toes up towards the right, and then you're gonna set the block down on the inside of your right foot. Take your hands to your hips, shift the hips over towards the left, and then slide your hand down as far as it'll go. Sometimes it only goes down to your shin, so it's not quite to the block, or you might need to bring the block a little bit closer. We're gonna take the ears away from the tailbone, reach the tailbone back away from your ears, and then take the arm up. Start by turning the palm back and pressing from the shoulder backwards. So we're really working on opening the chest here, spiraling these bottom ribs forward just a little bit. And then keeping the bottom ribs coming forward as you reach this arm up and over. A little bit more side stretch, still tailbone reaching back away from the ears. We're gonna start to make a really big transition here. We're gonna go into a twisting lunge. So you're gonna bend into your right leg, take your uh, left hand down towards that right, uh, towards the block. And then you're gonna pivot into a twist. Now you might just have your elbow on your thigh and then you twist your head over. That's going to be fine. A little bit more twisting is going to happen. You can pivot onto the back toes. You can leave your elbow on your thigh and look over. Or if you're feeling really strong, you might move the hand to the hip. If you're feeling pretty steady still, you might reach the arm up into the air. Hand on the hip is a good intermediary there. One more exhale. And then we're going to start to come out of it. You're going to keep turning over towards the left. Put the left heel back down. Turn the toes over towards the left. And then take both hands down wide-legged forward fold. You've got the block there that you can use. Relaxing your head and your lower back. And we'll start to take yourself up. Draw your belly in. Take the block with you. So we're gonna move over into triangle pose on the left side. So adjust your feet, gonna bring the block down in a little bit. And then shift your hips over, and then it'll take your body down. Maybe the fingertips just go to the shin. Maybe you do come down towards the block. And as you take your arm up, turn the palm down and press the shoulder back. The shoulder presses the hand back. That might bring your bottom ribs a little bit further forward. And then keeping the bottom ribs forward as you reach your arm up and over your nose, finding more space in the spine. Good. 
tailbone reaches back. Take another big breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna bend into the left knee. You're gonna take your right hand down, find the block, start with the right elbow on the knee, or the left elbow on the knee, sorry. And then you're gonna look over towards the left if that's going well. Maybe you pivot on the back foot so that you're on the toes and the knees are up and you can keep the elbow down or you can take your hand to your hip as you look over towards the left. Maybe your arm reaches up. Belly gets softer to allow the rotation. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then we'll start to unwind, taking it all back out towards the right. Bring the right left, get the right heel down, turn the left toes over towards the right and come into a fold. You might go down a little bit more this time. You might bend your elbows. See if you can push a little bit more into the pinky toe edges of your feet in this space. Let the head hang down. One more exhale. And then bend your knees a little bit. Start to stand yourself up. Bring your feet in towards each other. And then we're gonna come down and uh, we're gonna start making our way towards downward dog. Downward dog will go to child's pose. So just knowing that if you wanted to go towards child's pose, um, if you're just ready for it, you can do that. But taking this transition with us, perhaps start with your feet up towards the front of your mat, space about hip width distance apart. Take an inhale, lift your arms up, stay there, exhale. Inhale, lift up a little bit longer, just feel that little extra bit of space. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees. Stay there, take a breath in. See if you can soften something a little bit more as you exhale. And then coming up halfway, you've got that lift of your heart forward and your tail back. Try to roll your shoulders back. Stay there for the exhale. Take one more inhale. Maybe your heart lifts up a little bit more. And then exhale, fold down again. So we're just gonna relax down, relax your head. Stay there as you inhale. See if you can soften a little bit more as you exhale. And then we'll start moving it back in a downward facing dog. So planting your hands, walking your feet back, setting up palms spread out wide, fingers spread out wide, strong from the backs of the arms into the shoulders. Relax your head, relax your heels. Feel the hips floating up, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. And then coming into child's pose lowering those knees down, bringing them a little bit wider, and then sitting your hips back. Arms in a soft place that might be in closer or just softly stretch forward, try to relax your head down. One more round of breath. And then start to lift yourself back up onto your hands and knees. You might want at this point to have uh, a pillow or a block handy. If you don't have a, like a yoga block, yoga block, then make sure you've got like a, the cushion or pillow that you would often use to sit on. We'll have that handy um, as we go towards some of these next shapes. From the hands and knees, though, first we'll start with threading the needle. Go ahead and slide your left arm, let's say underneath your right armpit, and then come up onto your fingertips, if you can, so the elbow reaches up. And your other option, instead of reaching the elbow up, is to walk the arm up and over your head. So you have just a little bit more of that side face, and you can decide which feels a little bit better to you, which feels a little bit more stable or more freeing. And then with every exhale, you relax the hips. One more breath out. And bringing that 
right hand back in if you walked it out and then you're gonna unwind the left arm. Take your left arm up into the air and wiggle your left knee back a little bit so you really open up into the twist. Then take the left hand down and then switch that left knee back up. Taking the right arm underneath, threading the needle coming up on your fingertips or walking those left fingertips out over your head. Releasing the back of your right shoulder and releasing and relaxing your hips every time you breathe out. Take another full round of breath. And then slide that left hand back in. We're gonna open up, take the right arm out, and then move that right knee back just a little bit. So you have a little bit more room to reach the heart up. Inhale, and then exhale, hands down, coming back in. So this is where you might use that block or that cushion. We're gonna try to come into pigeon pose. So you'll take your knee forward, and then your foot is in front of your hip and you slide it back. Now here's where it, it, this would go kind of underneath your hip. If this back knee is not taking it, if the front knee ankle is not taking it, you can always lay on your back and put your ankle on your knee or do swan pose where we have that shin forward and you come forward like so. Totally great option. Take that if it seems like a better plan for you. But if you can be in pigeon, if this is interesting and enjoyable to you, that little bit of support from the block underneath your hip can be quite nice. The hips are balanced, the toes point back. Again, ankle on the knee on your back or coming into swan pose. All great um, alternatives to pigeon. We don't do pigeon a lot this way, but it can be nice if it feels accessible in your body. You've got a little bit more space if you'd like to relax forward in pigeon, you can do that. We'll be here for about another four or five breaths. One more exhale. And then you're gonna to start to lift yourself back up. If you've had that anything underneath your hip, just go ahead and sit over so you can slide back and bring yourself back up onto your hands and knees. Do a little bit of wiggling in your hips. If you're on your back, just switch to the other side. And then we'll come into pigeon or swan or the reclined pigeon on the other side, bringing your knee forward. Maybe you wiggle that leg back, bringing that block or a pillow just to touch your outer left hip. You shouldn't be sitting over on this hip even though the block is there. You have both hips forward. This hip isn't down. They're both forward balanced. If you like to come down onto the elbows, you're welcome to go there. Two more breaths. And then you're gonna take that clock out from underneath your hip. Go ahead and roll over onto your hip. If you've been on your back, go ahead and come up. Let's take the legs out wide and start with the hands down, just behind the hips, letting the heart lift up and forward. We keep relaxing the shoulders. You might even change the positioning of your hands to give yourself a little bit more space to open up in the front of the heart. One 
one more breath in. Soften with your exhale. And then maybe you walk the hands forward a bit, leaning the heart forward, or you bring the arms out in front of you and you walk them forward, leaning your heart forward, continuing to think of a soft and relaxed lower back as you reach your heart outwards. Two more breaths. And then start to walk the hands back in. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide coming forward again into bound ankle, really finding that soft space in the lower back. One more breath out. And then starting to come up, we'll close the legs in towards each other and then come down onto your back, bring the soles of the feet out a little bit wider, let the knees knock against each other. We'll take some time here, relaxing into the floor. Arms down by your sides, palms open, shoulders relaxing outwards. And start to wiggle your shoulders a little bit underneath your back, bring the arms in a little bit closer, palms face down, and press down into your arms and your shoulders so your heart starts to float up. One more breath in. Exhale, relax it a bit. Your hips are probably a little bit wider than your, your feet are probably a little bit wider than your hips. Bring them hip width apart, toes face forward, knees are up now. As you press down into your arms, also press it down into your feet, coming up in a bridge pose, little extra wiggle of the shoulders closer. Maybe you hold hands underneath your back. And really try to open up the front space in the body. Big inhale. And then relax the shoulders, the hands, releasing your hips downwards. Go up one more time, feel free to take a softer variation or to have your hands at your hips for guidance. If you'd like to take the bind, of course, taking the bind, wiggling the shoulders in, let's lift the hips up, push into all four corners of the feet. One more breath in. And then relaxing the shoulders and the hands and resting the hips back down onto the floor. Bring your knees into your chest. Rocking around a bit, releasing the lower back. Open your arms into a T and roll your knees over towards the right. Coming into a twist that feels really good in your body, so making any adjustments or maybe it's more intense, maybe it's a little bit more open, maybe just one leg folds over. Feel softness in the front of your chest every time you breathe out. One more exhale. And then starting to make your twist over towards the other side. Taking little adjustments, taking a little moment to sort yourself out and then relaxing the right shoulder open, softening your belly. Softening your breath.
two more breaths here. And coming back to center, back to laying down, feet down, knees knocked against each other. Bringing a hand onto your belly and a hand onto your heart. Feeling your breath and your heartbeat and returning for a moment to this mantra, this complete statement, I am. Letting it repeat a few times in your consciousness or speaking it out loud if you prefer. And as you start to settle into your final rest, whether it's remaining here or extending the legs or taking a seated meditation, anything that is calling to you, maybe you continue that mantra. Maybe you let it go after a bit. A little snuggle of the shoulder blades together can help to soften your heart if you are choosing any of these postures on your back. Settling in for this very well-deserved rest.
start to come back to your body. Breathing a little bit more deeply, tuning in, centering and connecting with yourself again. And start to reach your arms overhead, a good morning stretch. Bend your knees, roll yourself over to one side, offering gratitude for your practice. Coming up when you're ready into your own version of a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at your heart. Feeling the practice, releasing it all together. Deep breath in. Oh. Bowing down to the love and light that resides within each of our hearts. Namaste. Thanks, everybody.